Today I've got something funky on the puzzle table. It's totally abstract and it's vertical, so that means it's gonna be hard. Wish me luck and come check it out. Hey puzzle friends, for my next video I've picked this Frank Lloyd Wright City by the Sea Jigsaw Puzzle. It's a thousand pieces and by one of my favorite puzzle brands, Gallison. So let's talk first impressions. This guy makes quite a statement right out of the box, like a I'm gonna be super hard kind of statement. It's an abstract photo with no real pictures of anything, just color block shapes. Plus it's vertical, which is especially challenging because it means a lot of the puzzle is gonna be pretty far away from me as I'm trying to do this thing. But I've got a plan. I think sorting by color is really going to be the secret weapon here, especially since all the colors are big color blocks, no gradients. It's going to make it easy to figure out which box to put them in. Oh, and according to the box, it's a gold foil puzzle, which probably means it's going to be somewhat shiny, uh, which should mean it's kind of interesting as I stare at this puzzle and try to figure out how to put it together. I'll be opening up this box and putting it together piece by piece, time lapse style. And don't forget to stick around to the end, because when I let you know what I think about it, you might pick up a few jigsaw puzzling tips. But before I get started, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I know you want to see more videos like this one. Okay, bring it on, Frank Lloyd Wright. It's time to get started. pieces and 10 jillion tiny shapes in that puzzle. I have to admit, when I was just starting out this puzzle, I considered flipping it horizontal. Horizontal is always easier than vertical, and I was kind of thinking, well, it's an abstract puzzle. Who's gonna know, right? But it didn't really feel authentic to the puzzle, so I kept it in its vertical form. After I got past that urge, using my sorting trays to break this out color by color was definitely the winning strategy. It was super easy because all the colors were pretty much solid block colors. However, in the case of this puzzle, there were a ton of pieces that had like a few little bits of different colors, and I could easily see how I was going to get sucked into like a, is this piece more white or more pink kind of conversation. 
Sorting is my least favorite part of puzzle doing, so I am quick to pick up little rules I give myself to make the process go faster and avoid those agonizing decisions. After sorting my color, I always start looking at the color that has the least representation on that puzzle, and in this puzzle, it was pink. In this case, if a piece had two of the same color, I put it in the box I knew it was going to do first. So if it had pink and white, I put it in the pink box because I'm going to get to the pinks first since there's less of it. If it's gold and blue, I'm putting it in the gold box because I know there's less gold in this puzzle than blue. It worked. I was able to sort this guy super fast. These pieces with multiple colors on them actually were super helpful because these are the ones where the shapes in the puzzle met, and I could actually find them on the picture I had. I did spend more time than I wanted squinting over the poster trying to figure out, well, which angle corresponds to which shape, but I was basically able to find the piece I was looking for every time. So would I recommend this puzzle? Absolutely. It was a unique experience. I'm really glad I didn't pass up. It was pretty challenging, but never boring. If you do end up picking up this puzzle, one thing to watch for is the really light blue and the white color pieces. It took me a while to even figure out those were two different colors, and I definitely sorted them wrong a ton of times. It kept me on my toes. Thanks for joining me on this puzzle journey. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts with me below in the comments. And of course, if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe so you can catch my next Jigsaw Puzzling video. I'll see you there.